I got something really cool here to show you. It's a sheet of currency. It's uncut, and these are Giori test notes. It seems a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you get it? The nephew of the man who built the machine that made these found a couple sheets of these in his uncle's closet after he passed away. They just let anybody have these, or? No, actually, they were illegal to own. But the government said they're nonsense notes because everything's canceled on them. So they really can't be spent. So basically, on these test pages, we just have different parts of bills, the 1, the 5, and the 50. They couldn't actually print real money because right. that'd be counterfeiting. So they printed all these different little test sheets so they could go, yes, we can print the microprinting. We can get the portraits correct. We can get the lettering correct. In the 1700s, you know what the number one deterrent to counterfeiting was? Death. Death, that's right, because it's right on the currency. It would say counterfeiting is death. All right, was this printed on actual, like, government currency paper? I don't know. At the top, there's plate numbers from the plate that they were made from. And the ink is the government ink, but the paper, we're not sure on. Is there a market for this stuff? Well, believe it or not, individual section, like one piece, sells for between $150 and $200. And you just don't see them in sheets. I'm definitely interested. But when it comes to stuff that might be breaking a federal law or two, it's better to call on an expert than taking a shot in the dark. Luckily, I know just the person. How much you want for him? I want 4000 All right, I'm clueless. <laughs> um, we're dealing with something here that's not supposed to exist. OK. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it, well, it's paper money, but it's not paper money. That's my problem. I know someone who's probably going to know a lot about this. She yeah. grades paper money for a living. So maybe she's seen this stuff. Hang out a few minutes. I'll be back in a little bit. OK. I don't mind someone come look at it as long as they have some credentials behind them. Second opinions are always good, but they're just that, an opinion. Wow. This is a Giori test sheet. Yeah, say that five times fast. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. <laughs> I'm vice president of PCGS Currency, and I am an expert in US paper money. The guys give me a call usually when they have something come in that they need a little authentication uh, before they purchase. So do we still use this to print money, or is it something completely different now, or? We are just now in the process of switching to new machines. The Yori presses are still used. OK. This is a pretty cool sheet. These were made in the mid-'70s by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, and they were to test new techniques for printing paper money to make it more efficient. And this was also the first time that more than one color could be applied to the paper without having to run it through the print process twice. OK. There's different varieties. This one would consider the $1 denomination because Washington is in the center of the note. This is very cool also because it's 32 subject. It is still intact. So many of these have been cut up into 32 individual nodes. There's four subject sheets. You can buy them as a pair face face, a face and a back, um, so many different ways. And this one's absolutely exquisite. All right, so do a lot of people collect these things? Because it's, technically it's not currency, but it sort of is. It's one of those weird little areas. These are recently being added as a must have. You can never put the sheet back together. OK, now here's the big one. What is this worth? Well, one of the things that I'm looking at um, with anything is you want to know what's the condition, what's the grade. All of the notes look clean as there is no ink smearing, there's no um, solvent smearing. They're nice, crisp. Um, quality print on the sheet. These are sexy. In this condition, it would grade choice uncirculated. OK. So what price tag are we looking at? Sold and cut up individually, each individual note right now is retailing for about $150 a piece. OK? okay. This sheet in this condition graded would bring between 3000 and 3500 retail. All right, you're the best girl. Thanks. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate it. See you later. I don't think he's going to have any problem moving it. It appeals to a lot of different people, whether you're a currency collector, whether you're you know, into history. It's a, it's a very unique, just cool, cool item. So I think it's worth more than the 4800 whole. 
It was one of those things I got a frame. It's got to be graded. I'll give you three grand. Like she said, this is the cat's meow for the collectors. They got to have it. 36. You take 32. 34. All right, 3,300 bucks? Sure. OK, 3,300. Thanks. Write them up, son. What do I call this thing? Guerrero? Jury. Jury test notes. I'll figure it out. Meet me over there, my man. Right, thanks. I did OK at $3,300. A little low, but it was acceptable. I paid this much for it, and I sold it for this much. Made a nice little profit.